Hello, I'm Andrea Salvioli, product specialist at DV Technologies. In this video, we'll analyze the main problems that may be had while installing a multi-channel wireless system. The first element to keep into account is certainly intermodulation. First of all, let us try to understand what it is and why it is such a big issue. Intermodulation or intermodulation products are frequencies produced when two or more signals are on the same transmission means, in this case air. The figure shows a single signal. If this signal is matched by another, the two signals will produce two undesired frequencies. By adding a third signal, the frequencies produced increase remarkably. You can understand that this effect is all the greater in case of large multi-microphone systems operating in small spaces. Intermodulation product frequency and intensity depend on the physical distance as well as the distance between the frequency of individual signals. As a consequence, the effect of intermodulation is even greater when operating with narrow bands, as it would be definitely better to use a much wider operating band, also known as switch band. In order to manage this type of problem, some complicated mathematical calculations are needed. Fortunately, some systems already contain a set of pre-calculated frequencies, grouped in order to select suitable ones. This is why it is important to work with frequencies belonging to the same group. Let us have a look at a practical example in which 12 transmitters on pre-calculated frequencies are switched on and let us see how the frequency spectrum changes. With one single transmitter, with two, with three, and so on, up to 12. Let us consider how to position the antennas for every system. As explained in the other two videos of this series, every receiver needs to receive the signal coming from the antenna. In a multi-microphone system, there may be a pair of antennas per each receiver. This would make the setup poorly functional and in many instances problematic. A solution would entail using a single pair of antennas and bouncing the signal from one receiver to the next using the link output, if the system allows it. In cases where the number of receivers is high, four or more, this solution features an intrinsic problem. Every time a signal is split, there is a loss of intensity in each of the resulting signals. The more times this operation takes place, the more the intensity loss in the signal at every link. With advanced systems, this loss can be offset using an amplifier. The amplifier will also amplify any disturbance that may influence the correct reception of the signal as you move down along the chain. The solution generally suggested is using an antenna distribution system, that is, a device that, depending on the model versions, splits the signal in four, six, or eight parts, and therefore distributes it to the various receivers. The advantage is that every receiver gets exactly the same signal level. In case of setups featuring different, non-integrated systems, for instance using different brands, then the various channels must be sought progressively in order to have each receiver detect the presence of the previous systems, which must be left switched on. In this way, every transmitter will be detected by the following receiver as a disturbance to avoid. We have looked at some useful tricks to use in order to make the most of multi-channel wireless systems. Goodbye and see you in the next video.